everybody, this is BeastCat100, and welcome back to some more Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend. In the previous episode, we had finished up episode 15 of the Chrono Phantasma Path, The Truth, where we had learned quite a bit, uh, quite a few more things, like the fact that Celica is able to absorb all ether, um, all, yeah, ether in the area, and, uh, she is the Blaze Blue's weakness. As long as she is around, nobody who has access to it can use the Blaze Blue. In addition, we had some continuity where we finally found out where Ragna was jumping into uh, to get to the past, where we met up with him in Episode 3 of the Six Heroes story, where he had amnesia. So, and we also got a title drop, <laughs> and <laughs> we figured out... Uh, what the Chrono Phantasma is. Now, I'm speaking from a perspective of somebody who did that all in one shot. I know that was over two episodes, um, but that that was just from my perspective. In this episode, while it would make a lot more sense to go back to the Six Hero story, we're not going to do the thing that makes sense. We're going to go back to uh, the Sector 7 stuff, and we're going to be moving on to Episode 8, The Forbidden Research. Um, now, as we know, the Sector 7 stuff is the stuff that happened that, uh, was preceding the events of Chrono Phantasma, uh, or at least the meeting of everybody in, um, in Inaba. So, we are probably gonna get back to the present. Also, Hazma is on the thing here, so I can only imagine she's, he's gonna have a huge impact in this but enough speculation, we're gonna jump right into it. If you like what you see, leave a like down below, comment if you have anything to say, subscribe to me if you haven't already, click that bell so you're notified of everything that I do when I do it, and share with your friends so they can join in on this adventure. Now then, without further ado, let us move on to the Forbidden Research. Alright, it's almost done. <sighs> A forest located a little outside of the city proper. Bang and Bullet were camped out. Right, yeah, Bang and Bullet met up. Everything looks normal. Bang and Bullet met up because... Uh... Was it in this timeline? No, no, that was the other one. Um... Yeah, Bang and Bullet met up because Bullet was looking for Tsubaki... Also, um, not Tsubaki, was looking for, um, for Kokonoe. And Bang had a little bit of a realization about the day that Tenjo died, and so he's following a lead on that. Welcome back. I'm almost done with dinner. Bullet returned from the sent from sentry duty and sat on the other side of Bang. She sat in the shadows of the tent occluded from the light even in camp she kept her he's she kept herself guarded from all sides <sighs> bang was 40 percent impressed and 60 percent astounded bullet what is it you don't have to always be on alert you can relax sometimes you're among friendly company but you don't have to worry about it here I've also set a trap, so if an enemy comes, we will immediately know about it. I... I know that may be true, however... So it's become a habit? Well then... What? I will make you relax. Listen to my story. <laughs> One day I was training the troops as usual, and then Master came to watch. Okay... After watching us training gallantly for a little while, he suddenly blurted out, Where are my ninja? Huh? We are ninjas, so he couldn't see us training. <laughs> we were invisible, you see? <laughs> <laughs> no way. You didn't even smirk a little? My ultimate small talk subordinate relaxation technique was perfect until this day. I'm not exactly sure how to respond to that. Is it what people call a joke? It was supposed to be. Ouch! To think someone so trusted would lay down a burn like that. Huh. Then I have no choice. I must. You're not finished? 
Bullet was looking fed up, so Bang had to fall back to his bag and started to do something. <laughs> I've done better than usual today. Bullet, you will laugh for sure this time. Oh. Watch closely. This is an Akaraga special. Bang spun around and showed his bare stomach to Bullet. Witness my belly dance. Hey, hey, hey! Oh god, no. Bang, please. <laughs> Bang had drawn a face on his stomach and was making it dance around. For a moment, it seemed like Bullet wouldn't laugh at Bang's desperate trick, but... Bang, Bullet's expression softened a little, and she laughed. Bang spotted the shift. Aha! You just laughed! The Akaraga belly dance always works! <laughs> God damn it! No, it's just that you were trying so hard, I couldn't help but laugh at you. Ha! <laughs> You're laughing... at me? Well, that works, I guess. Yeah. Just don't look so stern all the time. It doesn't help anything. Hmm. I guess you're right. Sorry. If you're stressed about something, just talk about it. I'll listen anytime. Oh, really? Well, then you want to hear about my past? Absolutely. Sure. Don't hold anything back. When did she get back? Bang and bullet started to... God damn it. <clears throat> All right, Bang and Bullet started to tell each other about their lives. Bang and his master, Bullet and, and the leader she respects, both of them have some someone they are dedicated wholly to. <laughs> Maybe we have something in common after all. You? And me? Yeah. Maybe I opened up too much. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fuck you, you don't get to listen to that story yet. Opening up is important. And both our quests have noble reasons. <laughs> our meeting was ordained. Ordained? Let's work with one another to accomplish our quests. I see. I guess you're right. Thanks. But of course. Why she lock herself in a small room in the library branch? Well, maybe not herself. The entrance to a room was being monitored by the security system in the hallway, so it's more like being under mild house arrest. I always knew it was going to end like this. I'm not as good as the professor or Roy. I can't even save the one person I want to. Oh, right. Yeah, that's another thing. Lychee and Kokonoe finally met up, and Kokonoe was like, No, go fuck yourself. What you're trying to do with Roy is not going to happen. Lychee couldn't stand her own weakness. Why am I... Uh, who is it? It's Makoto. Lychee, do you have a moment? Makoto? Sure. <laughs> I'm coming in. This reminds me of your clinic. Are you allowed to be here? I feel like they'll hold it against you. It'll be fine. I'm not breaking any rules. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. I could learn a thing or two from your boldness. Are you alright, Lychee? You seem a little out of it. I feel like it. You must be going through a lot. Yes, I am. So, you came here for a reason, right? Yeah, uh... So, I was curious what you guys were talking about when I came in back there. What Kagura was talking about? What did he mean by, it's starting? Why ask me? Wouldn't Kagura or Kokonoe have that answer? Yes, but they wouldn't tell her. Yeah, but, you know, I think they think I'm dumb and I wouldn't be able to understand. Could you ask them for me? What? Me? Why me? Please, I'm so curious. I'm sorry, but I have to decline. Besides, I don't think they'd tell me, given what I've done. Mm. Oh. But you're, but you're asking, asking the right, right questions. questions. I wonder, I wonder if, if that, that thing, thing has something to do with the Seether, seether density. density. They, they also, also mentioned, mentioned that person. person. There's, There's only, only one, one person, person I can I think, think of that could affect the density, density of Seether. Of seether. What are you thinking about? So Lychee knows. I don't have any proof. I am literally dying.
dying of curiosity. Can you tell me anything? Professor Relius and I have been experimenting with vaporizing solidified Seether. We even made a device to do it. That's all I can think of that would affect Seether density. Relius Clover? But why? It's just a guess, and there's no way for me to predict what Relius or Kokonoe may be thinking. Right, Professor? What do you think? I know you're eavesdropping. <laughs> what? Kokonoe? Well, okay. I do have a guess. But my eight ball is saying outlook not so good. <laughs> okay. Of course she's eavesdropping. Of course she is. Speaking of the device in Relius Clover. I'm coming in. Boy, you sure do love these dark holes in the ground, don't you? Aren't you worried you'll go stir-crazy? You're late. Listen, I can't just be at your beck and call all the time. Your impatience is a symptom of your stir-craziness. It appears that Lychee Fei Ling has made contact with Kokonoe. Yeah, she's really dedicated herself to that little blob, huh? A waste of time. A girl and her blob. That's a great idea for a game or something. In the meantime, they are our playing pieces. Asuma put his hat back on and chuckled in the darkness outside of the room. In the darkness of the room. We have some vermin running around sniffing at our cheese. The mercenary and the ninja. Don't you think their scrambling around the playing field might cause a problem? No. They hold the Retenjo. Oh, I see. So you had even more pieces on the board and didn't tell me. You're so mean. I'm going out. <coughs> oh, to where? Hmm. <laughs> My, my. Is he in a good mood or bad? He isn't even kind enough to offer me a drink. Well, I suppose he's too busy preparing for the party. So I guess I'll let him slide. Kokonoe and her gang will eventually show up. So I guess I can send an invitation to the rats at the same time. So, I think I have one more job for you to do. He was not talking to himself. He was talking to the corner of the research room. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, you. I'm talking to you. There was something unnaturally dark in the shadows. The squirming phenomenon made no noise and looked at Hosma in wonder. Ugh, to have such a pet. He truly has bad taste. <laughs> oh? Not suspicious at all. Oh. I just can't feel calm in the city. All the other people make me anxious. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so used to the to the uh, Chrono Phantasma route when everything went on for eternity. Not that that was a bad thing. It was chock full of stuff. But having a little downtime before the main event probably isn't a bad idea. Plus, we get to gather a little bit more information in the meantime but that being said i'm going to follow the game's lead and i'm going to end it right here uh in the next episode we move on to chapter nine the beast thank you guys for watching and see you guys later